Well, hello there. One of my recent videos, I made this drone-based noise box. I'm still not exactly sure what to call this thing, but I mic'd it up and made some weird sounds with it. So today, I thought I'd go a little farther and try out some contact mic fun. This thing records physical vibrations instead of vibrations through the air like a normal mic and so you can get some interesting sounds that way. So in addition to this I also have an entire table of random objects. I don't have a lot of experience with this mic so I'm just here to play around, see what I can come up with, if something interesting happens from all of this, then maybe I'll splice together some uh, music. Uh, maybe not. I'm, I'm just here to play and find out. Well, that was a choice, but I did get a few takeaways from this little experiment. Number one, be sure to hang on to your microphone if it's perched precariously on top of a balloon you're popping. 
And number two, this actually gave me a little more hands-on experience with working with a contact mic and when it would be good to use one and when you could just use a regular one. I noticed a lot of my sounds didn't sound drastically different, but then there are some, most notably the wire spring, which is a classic that sounds dramatically different with a contact mic. So that's just all good audio information to, you know, put in the old noggin for future usage. I do really enjoy playing with the concepts of noise and sound and music and the intersection between all of those because when I was putting this together, I had a whole hour of just me making random noises and I had to decide what is the direction I'm going with this. And to be honest, I'm still not sure what direction I went with that, but, um, you know, should I go industrial? Should I add some vocalizations on it? Should I put something more musical on top of it and not just make it entirely noise, even though, you know, was it really the original plan? So you can play with a lot of different ideas when the expectation for a thing, for instance, a guitar, if you walk on stage with a guitar, people have an expectation what you're gonna do with that. So when there are less expectations about the sounds that you're using, you have a wider range of play, but also a much smaller audience. <laughs> In the future, I'm definitely going to be playing around with some of these concepts a little more. I guess it sort of just depends what sort of strikes my fancy. But uh, thanks for stopping by and hanging in there.